Welcome back again. This time what I wanted to talk about are breakpoints. Uh, so go ahead and open up MPLAB. Uh, you should have some code in here from the last couple video lectures. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to add just a little bit more code, not a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say port C equals 0xff and then I'm going to add another delay uh, to where I make it 0, 0. So now it'll be on for a second, off for a second, and the other stuff will continue to happen, um, and that'll be just fine and dandy. So if I go ahead and want to make sure that my code has no errors, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run it, um, and what I've got here is I should have um, all the LEDs flashing for one second on, and then one second off. One second on, one second off. Cool, so that should be all set. Let's go ahead and look at some breakpoint features. Uh, in order to set a breakpoint, you do have to have it paused or stopped. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Uh, what I want to do is I want to set a breakpoint. Uh, let's set a breakpoint uh, right on uh, this line right here. So line 79. So I actually just click on the number 79 in the gutter. Uh, so now what happens is if I hit play, um, it's going to hit that breakpoint uh, to where all the lights are on. And then what I want to do is I want to slowly step through this. So I'm going to click on the step over. Uh, and what that'll do is that'll step over my one second delay. Uh, but my lights are still on. And then this I think is kind of neat. As soon as I click on the step over button again, uh, which is also F8, um, they're all going to go out, uh, which I think is kind of cool. So you've got full control over stopping your program. Um, and then the nice thing is, is that like right now you can you can go in and you can look at your variables. Uh, so let's say I wanted to look to see what the values are of port C. Uh, I could see all the port C values. It was nice enough that it added it for me. I didn't have to add it. Um, you can see that the ones it adds are in green. The ones you add are these gems. Um, so the ones you add are watch windows. The ones it adds are variables. Uh, but I can set those breakpoints like that, which is really pretty neat. I can also add uh, multiple breakpoints. So I'm paused right now, so I can add another breakpoint here. You are limited on how many you can add, uh, but you can add, I think, like three. Um, so if I go ahead and hit run, um, it actually hit this top breakpoint. One thing I'll say about breakpoints that happens a lot is that if you set it on a line, there's a good chance it's going to run that line, then stop. There's also a chance it'll stop before that line no guarantees, right? It's going to stop either just after or just before that line, and that's what you're going to get, right? So just kind of know that's how it works. So here it actually stopped after the line, um, and if I hit play, um, and then there it stopped just after the line as well. You can see the breakpoints um, in your little breakpoints window. If you ever lose this window, like let's say you closed it, uh, and you're like, oh no, I've lost my breakpoints window, um, you can always get it back with window, debugging, um, and you can see that there's a couple useful windows in here. There's the variables one that we've been using, uh, and then breakpoints, and I can bring it right back. Another thing just to mention it is that you might um, at some point minimize it, um, which maybe is what you want to do, maybe it's not. Minimizing is nice uh, because then like, you know, if you minimize all these guys, you've got more screen real estate uh, for your coding and you can hover over them um, and you can see what they are. So minimizing actually can be cool. If you do it accidentally and you didn't mean to minimize it, uh, just click on this pen button uh, and it'll pen it back up here to where it's always visible. Um, so that's a feature that NetBean had uh, the MPLAB got for free, uh, which is kind of nice. All right, I was talking about breakpoints. Um, inside this breakpoint area, you can choose to disable them just by unchecking their box. So if I disable both of them, uh, you can see it goes back to running like normal. Uh, you can also, if you decide that's not where you wanted them, uh, you can highlight them uh, and you can completely delete them, um, and that's fine. Another useful trick you can have in the debugger is uh, resetting. Uh, so if I click this, this button uh, for reset, it will actually jump back to the beginning of my code, uh, which it shows you, which is nice. The other thing that I think is really neat is uh, this one right here, run to cursor. Uh, this feature is just cool. So like, let's say I put the cursor right there, um, and I say run to cursor. Uh, that gives me the A, uh, but not the B and the C, which is kind of cool. 
Um, likewise, if I come down here and I said, hey, I want you to run the cursor there, um, you can see it just turned the lights on. Um, and if I set a breakpoint on this one and I say run the cursor, um, it'll run to my cursor there. Run to cursor is like almost too good to be true. Like it just works really slick, um, and and I think that's that's fun. It does not show up in the breakpoints area, but that's okay. All right, see you next time.